Well, good morning, church. Welcome to another edition of The Word for You Today. Uh, today's topic is Don't Shortchange Your Children. And we start off with a verse from Proverbs chapter 23, verse 15, where Solomon says, My son, if thine heart be wise, my heart shall rejoice, even mine. So, as we talk about shortchanging our children, we start off with this. If you succeed in making a good living, but fail to teach your children how to live right, your success will be empty, and you'll end up living with regrets. The average child spends six to seven hours each day on the internet, watching television, or interacting with their peer group, and every minute of it is creating their value system and molding them into the person that they will become. So it's important that we be there for them. If you have to sacrifice materially in order to develop them spiritually, it's a trade-off that you'll always feel good about. Dorothy Law Nolte wrote words that every parent should carry with them. If a child lives with criticism, he learns to condemn. If a child lives with hostility, he learns to fight. If a child lives with ridicule, he learns to be shy. If a child lives with shame, he learns to feel guilty. But if a child lives with tolerance, he learns to be patient. If a child lives with encouragement, he learns confidence. If a child lives with praise, he learns to appreciate. If a child lives with fairness, he learns justice. If a child lives with security, he learns to have faith. If a child lives with approval, he learns to like himself. And if a child lives with acceptance and friendship, he learns to find love in the world. Solomon, who was a father, put it this way, my child, if your heart is wise, my own heart will rejoice. Wednesday, a former student of mine who is now a grandmother, as well as a children's pastor, posted a memory from when her youngest child went to college. She wrote, Good morning, Facebook land. Many of you have been checking in, asking about how my son is doing at college. You are all so sweet, and I appreciate your love and support. He has been a busy guy already, but doing very well. Today is his first day of classes. It's a wonderful day, but my hardest day in this transition. This will be the first morning that I did not have a student sitting at my breakfast table to share scripture with and read their blessing prayer to them. But as difficult as that is, I know that all of that word is hidden, holding in their hearts, waiting to be shared with the world and those who find themselves far from hope. Parents, I encourage you, do not let your child walk out that door each day without the word and prayer. Equip them for their day and ultimately their future. I will miss seeing pancake faces and kissing cinnamon roll cheeks, but the greater joy and peace is knowing whom they belong to and that our amazing God will carry them all on the next leg of their journey. Have a great day. I bless each of you students in every school as your year begins with the peace, safety, and success you all deserve and our world so desperately needs. And then she added, Parents, I pray this memory inspires you to make the most of every morning with your youngsters. As the school year begins, please ask God to begin the day with your most precious treasures. I miss those days with my kids around our breakfast table, but I know that God is taking them into new chapters in their lives, and I pray every day for their success. Us mamas never stop praying, even when their treasures are all grown up. And her heart does indeed rejoice. And their hearts are wise, thanks to the spiritual investment that their parents poured into their lives. So remember, it's not too late. Invest wisely today. Now, a couple of announcements before we get into uh, the weekend ahead. Um, we want to let you know that the Village Church is presenting conversations about racial unity. Ever wondered what Christians should be doing to promote racial harmony? Ever questioned why there is a lack of diversity in most Christian congregations? 
And have you ever considered what the Bible has to say regarding diversity? If you answered yes to any of these questions, sign up and join us for a two-evening program designed to promote conversations about your role in understanding and promoting racial harmony in our community. Now, these discussions will take place on Wednesday evenings, September 1st and 8th. They'll go from 6 until 8 p.m. There will be dinner and child care provided. So if you'd like to be a part of that, uh, you can register by calling the church office at 940-6768. And this first session is going to be limited to 30 people. And then if we have enough, in, enough people interested, we will certainly repeat this and do it again. But we want it to be something that everybody can be involved with in the conversation. And so we hope you'll be a part of that September 1st and 8th. Also, tonight is the first football game for Tokoy Creek High School. And there are a lot of hungry football players to feed before that first game. So we invite you to join us today in the church kitchen, beginning at 12 noon, as we work with our neighbors from Reverb Church to provide dinner for the Toros for their first football game. Uh, we will be serving at the high school at 4 p.m. And if you can't join us to, to make dinner, but you'd still like to cheer the Toros on, kickoff is tonight at 7 p.m. at Brumley Stadium at St. Augustine High School. So go Toros! Uh, finally, uh, thank you all for your prayers during my battle with COVID. I look forward to being back in worship with all of you on Sunday. Uh, it's been a journey, um, but uh, finally, for the first time, starting to feel some strength again. Looking forward to getting back into the office and get, getting back into a routine. Uh, youth uh, activities are going to resume this Sunday, and so um, I'm so, so looking forward to seeing everybody this weekend. Now, if you can't join us in person on Sunday for worship, we invite you to join us on Facebook or on YouTube at 9 or 11 a.m. We love you, church. Have a great weekend.